Hey, boys and girls. It's time for Uncle Jay Explains the News. Now here's the guy who helps little minds understand big news stories, Uncle Jay. Hi, boys and girls. Before we start, I just got to mention that this is being recorded before the American Music Awards. And so we don't know yet what Miley Cyrus did to upset everybody. I'm sure it was horrible. We're all very upset. Okay. Now, happy Thanksgiving. And you probably know that this year, the start of Hanukkah and Thanksgiving are on the same night. And a lot of families will be combining the best of both holidays together. Well, Uncle Jay's news word for this week is a word we've used before. Civility. This means, of course, just basic respect, decency, courtesy, acting like an adult, which maybe you've noticed not all adults manage to do. In Congress, where civility has been on the no-fly list for a long time, the Senate tried to improve things by changing the rules about the filibuster. Now, boys and girls, that's a word we'll explain some other time. But for right now, just know that even though it sounds like the name of a restaurant, it's not. If it was a restaurant, all the waiters would just be arguing with each other all the time and they'd never serve you anything. But they'd make you pay the check anyway. Well, a very surprising note of civility has come from a place you wouldn't expect, Iran. They have finally agreed to stop their nuclear program for six months. And yes, boys and girls, that means that President Obama is getting more cooperation right now from Iran than from the U.S. Congress. And it's got to be very stressful for him. And as his presidency continues down the road, he's got to learn to be able to split his time between solving those problems and his regular everyday duties. Well, one hopeful sign of in the news came last week from a group of courteous, modest gentlemen, Monty Python. <laughs> Monty Python announced that they will perform together again next year and that they will try to replace the one member who died with someone who was equally reserved, modest, humble, and pining for the fjords. And now it's time to answer one of your news questions. This week it comes from Amy in Tucson, Arizona. Hi, Amy. Amy writes, Dear Uncle Jay, now that both the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 are out, which one should I be begging for? There's no way I'm going to get both, so what should I choose? Thanks, Amy. Well, this is a tough one. A lot of people don't know whether to get one of those systems or to go to Uncle J Mart at UncleJExplains.com for a great selection of gift ideas. Thanks, Amy. Well, this is a tough one. A lot of people are grappling with this. Do you go with the one that is overpriced and literally spies on you when you're in the room? or the one that's not quite as overpriced and is more focused on games to keep you inside and isolated. This might even be tougher, Amy, than deciding whether the Hunger Games movies are deeper than the Twilight movies. Don't forget, you can see more and send your questions at UncleJExplains.com. Check back every Monday when Uncle Jay explains the news. And remember, a great kid is great news. <laughs>